Suppose you grew up watching cartoons in the late 80s. In that case, you might recognize her voice as Peebo and the Proud Family. No, sir. They told me I can stay here till they get home. Max Me Max Gibson in Batman Beyond. Or how about Penny, the intelligent niece of the titular bumbling cop on Inspector Gadget? It's one o'clock. I better work fast if I'm going to help find Presto Changeo. This legendary voice has brought over 100 animated characters to light. But you may also remember her as Freddie Brooks, the iconic star of A Different World. And while her career has taken several setbacks after the show's conclusion, she is managing to stay afloat. So what exactly is Cree Summer up to now? Summer was born in Los Angeles on July 7, 1969, and spent her childhood in Saskatchewan and Toronto, Canada. She spent the initial seven years of her life on an Indian reservation, Subsequently, her family had adopted a nomadic lifestyle, even residing in a converted school bus, which her father's ingenuity transformed into a comfortable living space, complete with a cast iron stove. Her parents, Canadian actors Don Franks and Lily Red Eagle Franks, moved around, relocating across British Columbia before finally settling in Ontario. Summer reminisces about her earlier dwelling on the reservation, a house constructed by her parents from mud. Despite lacking amenities like running water and electricity, she describes it as a magnificent home. Moving to Toronto had brought with it a host of other problems. I would say it did mess me up the first couple of years because we settled in Toronto and we were living with premier blues singer at the time, Salome Bay, who is passed now, but an incredible artist, mm -hmm. and her husband, Howard Matthews, who opened the first soul food restaurant in Toronto called the Underground Railroad, which was an incredible destination spot for celebrities and athletes and politicians. And so they were a very wealthy black family, but they were living in an affluent white neighborhood and they were kind enough to let my family live in their basement, which was one room with a kitchenette and a sauna and a bathroom, smaller than your set. And prior to that, I really had no concept of money, social status, school, all those things. And to be hit with those really quickly it was really it's a hard knock, you know, mm -hmm. lesson, I'll say. But for all the allure of fame and wealth, Cree has had a very tumultuous private life. In 2013, she married producer Angelo Pullen, and that, according to Cree, was the single biggest joy of her life. The union blessed them with two daughters, Brave Little Wing and Hero Peregrine, who was named after the majestic Peregrine Falcon. Cree was ecstatic about being a mother and was at a point in her life where she had a burgeoning career, a supportive family back home, and a special guy she truly loved. She shared nearly a decade of marital bliss with Angelo Pullen, before unfortunately announcing the dissolution of their marriage in May 2022. But by all accounts, even before the divorce, Angelo had become something of an absentee father, and Summer knew what was coming. I had turned 40, and then their father appeared. He literally appeared. He bought the house across the street. He moved in here, and we had a really nice almost a decade together, really good. And then when that relationship ended, I became a single mother. She called becoming a single mother the greatest fear of my life. But like with the vicissitude of her career, she managed to brave the storm and raise her daughters with the love and care worthy of both parents combined. She has an uncompromising bond with her daughters and claims it's the only thing that matters to her. Bringing up kids is difficult, but through all the trials and tribulations, she looks back on the incident as something that shaped her for the better. Because I have to tell you, that destruction was mm. the best destruction mm. of my mm. life in retrospect. I am a totally different person after that. Probably a couple of years ago, I would have said I was abandoned, but now I say I was really liberated. Mm. And my daughters got to see me hanging on by a mosquito contair, right? And then they got to see me just soar. Summer began her acting career in 1983 when she landed the role of Penny in the inaugural season of the original version of Inspector Gadget. Her work in animated shows marked the early phase of her career, appearing in the Care Bears movie, 1985, and contributing to Ewoks, 1985, a part of the Star Wars franchise. Her breakout moment came in 1988 when she portrayed the free-spirited Freddie Brooks in the spinoff of The Cosby Show titled A Different World. She worked on the show until its conclusion in 1993. On the side, she continued her voice acting career. She wasn't ready to leave the animated world behind, and as it turned out, it would be the decision that saved her career. 
It was also during this time that she met Kadeem Hardison, and the two became acquainted and quickly fell in love. They had a passion for comic books and motorcycles. Cree and I, from the time we met when she first got cast, we became best friends. We shared a love of comic books and motorcycles. On our free time, me and Cree would be on our bikes, going to comic stores, running around LA, just being geeks. And then one night we went out to a play or something like that, and then we started kissing, and next thing you know, she was telling me she was in love with me. The couple went strong for the duration of the show's run, but separated soon after because of their different career pursuits. Despite the separation, both regard each other very highly and continue to meet to this day. Rumors are floating around that Cree and Kadeem may have reignited the flame. You just never know what could happen. After all, we did like the idea of them actually being together in real life. They have remained close after all these years. But for all her efforts, Cree's live-action career faced hurdles after her tenure on A Different World. In 1994, she joined the short-lived TV series Sweet Justice, which concluded the following year due to cancellation. The same year, she was cast for another primetime drama, Courthouse, co-starring with her A Different World colleague, Jennifer Lewis. But it met a similar fate and was canceled two months after its debut. To maintain her momentum for her live-action career, Summer made guest appearances on various live-action television series, including Living Single, Better Things, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But by this time, her professional focus shifted predominantly to voice acting. Unlike her brief acting career, her life as a voice artist was prolific, voicing over 101 animated characters from 1983 to 2006 in video games, cartoon TV series, animated films, and commercials. Her diverse roles include Elmira Duff in Tiny Toon Adventures, 1990, Susie Carmichael in Rugrats, Foxy Love in Drawn Together, Valerie Gray in Danny Phantom, and several others across popular franchises like Barbie, Transformers, and SpongeBob SquarePants. But unfortunately, our study group is all full up. Right, Tiff? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, Britt. These guys, you know them? Junkers, your basic street scum. I hate them, they hate... Let's roll! Well, what happens if they don't make it to the Great Wishing Star? Do they try again next year? He ain't uh. looking at you, love. He wasn't looking at your fat ass. What did you call me? Step out! Bring it! Girl. Drop it like it's Can hot. Can I get a witness? Holla! Hi, hi, hi! hi. hi. Summer's voice acting career flourished, including reprising her role as Penny from Inspector Gadget in the web series Nostalgia Critic in 2016. More recently, she joined the Patrick Star Show, lending her voice to characters like Patrick Star's mother and Squidward's grandmother. But Summer didn't just use her voice to give life to characters. She also enjoyed making and producing music. Cree's journey in music started at an early age when she took singing lessons and ultimately joined her first band by the age of 13. By that point, her passion for music took flight, and she would frequently indulge in it throughout her life. In 1985, she recorded the theme song for Al TV, initiating her foray into professional music. Five years later, Summer contributed background vocals on two tracks for fellow A Different World cast member Jasmine Guy's self-titled LP. Her path to stardom wasn't easy. In 1993, she led her band, Subject to Change, releasing an album. Capitol Records didn't distribute due to creative differences. Despite this setback, the band's rock soul fusion and potent political message soared in popularity. They were often sharing the stage as co-headliners with other performers. Summer's solo career sprang to life in 1999 with the release of her album Street Fairy produced by and featuring guest artist Lenny Kravitz. The album garnered moderate success, coupled with the tour as Kravitz's opening act. Unfortunately, label complications led to her departure, canceling her slot at Lilith Fair. Despite the setbacks, the label tried to recuperate by promoting the album, even issuing remix singles in Europe to no avail. Cree made up for her stagnant music career as a standalone artist by combining it with something more familiar. Summer's portrayed characters, animated or otherwise, often showcased her singing abilities. Susie in All Grown Up depicted a character with genuine singing prowess, allowing Summer to flex her vocal cords. She lent her voice to numerous characters who sang within the soundtrack of their respective shows. 
like Foxy Love and Drawn Together, number five in codename Kids Next Door, and Elmira Duff in Tiny Toon Adventures. In 2008, Summer appeared on the Frank Zappa birthday bundle, covering Zappa's song Dirty Love, alongside Dweezil Zappa on guitar and with background vocals by Ahmet Zappa. She finally got her time to shine. Since then, she's taken up a life philosophy that allows her to live on her terms, enjoy the couture she wants, appreciate the art that makes her feel alive, and be a proud single mother of two children. But more than anything, she firmly espouses her African-American heritage. The main corpus of her voiceover work has been to ameliorate the perceptions of young Black women in society who she believed were influenced by these cartoons, just like everybody else. In fact, her most substantial contribution to TV, A Different World, profoundly influenced the African-American youth, inspiring many to enroll in historically Black colleges or universities and get college degrees. She was also able to pull out this feat in some capacity in her music career, and she has no intention of stopping anytime soon with her voice acting career in full swing. If you have kids, you might have caught her voice on shows like American Dad or Young Jedi Adventures. Cree is one of those remarkable people who has managed to achieve as much in her professional life as much as she has in her private life, and in the end, she has developed a greater appreciation for life.